to some sensible heat problems. I'm going to give you three examples and this is the first example or exercise. These are pretty simple. If you want to practice a little bit more, but you should check out the whole course. And well, essentially, you're going to do this. Uh, calculate the heat given this data. And remember that this time uh, we're going to suppose that the heat is the change on enthalpy since it is at constant pressure. We're going to suppose that. Okay. So they gave me the mass. Actually, we're talking about copper, 5 kilograms, 5.42 kilograms. We don't have the specific heat capacity at constant pressure, so that might be a problem because we are supposing that this is a constant, proce uh, constant pressure process. They give us the, let's say, the specific capacity, uh, specific heat capacity at constant volume. They tell us it's an open system, which may also make sense because we are talking about a constant process uh, system and we're going to do it for an increment of 5 celsius so first thing first I'm going to suppose that TCP since it is a solid it's going to be exactly the same as this CV okay so I can plug this number here in CP which I actually done it here kilojoules per kilogram celsius now we're talking about 5.43 kilograms of copper and the difference it's an increment on 5 celsius so I don't really need to know the actual temperature if it's going to be 5 or 25 celsius well we're going to have 35 celsius and if you have 0 celsius well you're going to have 5 celsius so the moment you calculate the difference it's going to be in both cases 5 so I that's why I wrote directly 5 celsius so you just need to plug the numbers and do the product here and you will get 10.4 kilojoules because kilograms take out with this the kilograms the celsius with the celsius and you are left with only kilojoules which is essentially uh, the measurement of energy which is good because heat is of course energy What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out its content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.